Who are you? How did you get into my office? I'm with Interpol. We have reason to believe someone from Tarvo's security services tampered with evidence at Ruzika Station shortly after the terrorist attack occurred. You wouldn't know anything about that, would you? Interpol? What the hell are you talking about? How dare you accuse Tarvos of collaborating with terrorists? It's not an accusation, Whitaker. It's a fact. Someone from this office corrupted the station's telecam footage using a modified RDT device. And I'm pretty sure that someone was you. What? That is preposterous. Where, where would you get an idea like that? Your IT department sent an email. Alan, the LT came to me today. Demanded I give him an RDT device reconfigured to spot corrupt digital data. Said he'd submit the paperwork later. Shall I continue? Or would you like to explain now? It, it's not what it looks like. I'm not a terrorist. I'm not an org sympathizer. And it wasn't a Tarvos mandate or anything like that. I just... I... I had to protect my sister. Your sister? Your sister was the bomber? No, she would never. It was her husband. Ark got to him. He brainwashed him somehow. My brother-in-law was a proud man. He was a good mechanic. But after the incident, people didn't trust dogs around machinery. He lost his job. He and your sister would have been forced to move to Gollum City then. You sure he was a member of Ark? Well, isn't everyone in that place? And you have to be if you want to survive. When he lost his license to work, he became bitter and resentful. Ark must have preyed on that. It's what terrorists do. It's what somebody did. I'm just not sure it was Ark. I need his name, Lieutenant. He's dead. But my sister isn't. You ID the bomber, and the next thing that happens is the police start tearing through Gollum City looking for her. So no, I'm not telling you his name. I get that you want to protect your sister, Lieutenant, and I even agree. Once the bomber's name gets out, she probably will be in danger. But I can help with that, if you give me the name. I swear to you, she had nothing to do with the attack. And my brother-in-law... Ivan was just a pawn. He, he couldn't organize anything if he tried. Burke. His name was Ivan Burke. Did your sister ever mention anyone else from Ark? Someone Ivan might have spent a lot of time with? You mean the one who recruited him? No, not specifically, no. There were a couple of guys he'd sometimes drink with. Uh, T-Bone, New Bosch... I don't know. Oh, but there was this one guy. He came by their apartment about a week ago. A big Russian. He left a note and signed it, Old Blue Eye. She said he seemed friendly enough, but was glad he didn't stay. That was a neat trick, the way you corrupted the IntelliCam data. Any chance it can be restored? No. The remote data transfer device I use is very efficient. There's no way to recover the original data. Has Tarvos tampered with footage like this in the past? <laughs> oh, I'm in enough trouble as it is, Agent. I'm not adding more by answering that. And your sister? If I'm gonna help her, I need her name too. Melissa, if you're serious about helping her, there are only two ways you can. Get her out of there, or keep Ivan's name out of it. I understand. I appreciate you coming clean, Lieutenant. Even so, I wouldn't leave town if I were you. You've made this investigation harder than it should have been. I have no intention of leaving. Why? What are you going to do now? I get that you acted to protect your sister, and that you're worried she'll be put at risk. I'll do my best to keep names out of my report for now. But I can't guarantee they won't be needed in the future. I see. 
I appreciate you giving me and my sister a chance, Agent. I'll make sure an officer is waiting at the lift. It'll take you down to the metro level. Men, this is Lieutenant Whittaker. In the midst of our lockdown, an Interpol agent penetrated our defenses. We'll deal with the ramifications later. For now, show him to the lift so we can access the metro. Whittaker, out. Before you go, allow me to offer you uh, a token of my appreciation. Some whiskey, perhaps? <laughs>